Hey, Shook. Welcome back to Easy Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Virgo's reading for the first half of June 2021. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Virgos. If this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. I do advise that you check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will. All right, so looking at past, present, and future, they're going to get you some advice. I'm going to clarify each message though. I'm using my Sacred Force deck by Denise Lynn. It's like brand new. I love this deck. It's so pretty. Virgo. Let's see. What's your overall energy here in the first half of June? Okay. Protection. Okay. So, let's see what happened in the past. Ooh. Patience. Okay. Foggy boy. Mm-hmm. Current energy, renewal. Frog spirit. Immediate future, refuge. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is like you getting almost like, like peace and harmony. Like you're just going through a whole like transformation. Like a renewal. Well, it is. It says that. Right? Like revamping. Okay? Alright. So let's clarify this for you, Virgo. But at first, I'm going to read the message and then I'm going to clarify. The message is not long. Okay? So don't worry. We won't be here all night. For Virgo. For Virgo. Okay. So number 21. It says protection. All right. You are safe and, su and surrounded by a protective shield. You are not alone. Your life is guided and protected by higher forces. Within this, you can soar to great heights. Okay. You are protected. You are not alone. This is the overall energy. So relax. Okay. You've been very patient. You can see that in the past. Patience. Okay. Let's see. Why is protection here for Virgo in the, in the first half of June, Spirit? Why is protection here for Virgo? Okay. With the eight of disc, all right. This is you. Yeah. With the aid of this, you could be working a lot. Okay, maybe working on yourself, putting any effort on something, and you're just not happy with with the, with the results, maybe. Protection. Maybe this is about um protection. Why is protection here for Virgo Spirit? Why is protection here for Virgo Spirit? Okay, maybe even like not wanting to, yeah, I knew it was, okay. Resistance, okay, that's what I'm getting. With the Eight of Pentacles, we had the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It's like you're resistant, okay, to like do something, to go after something, to um, approach something, okay. Um, because with the Magician being here, I almost feel like you're not confident. Okay, you're not confident in your abilities. You're not confident in um, what you're manifesting because maybe you haven't seen it in the recent past. You've been waiting patiently, right? With the nine of wands on the bottom of the deck, you've been waiting for something to come together. Okay, waiting for almost like um, for things to happen for you. Okay, the um, page of pentacles. Yeah, with the three of wands, waiting to communicate, waiting to offer, okay? Because we had a nine of wands on the bottom of the deck when the magician came out, all right? That's like someone that has been through something, guarded, all right? Protective, okay? Like, whatever you're manifesting, you can put in the work towards, you can, you can, whatever you're manifesting, you have the tools that you need in order to go after it, okay? You can actually go towards this thing because you're protected 
right? That's what Spirit is saying. Like, you're protected. You've been patient. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, go. Do it, okay? Number 18 is patience, right? It says, have patience. Wait until the fog lifts before taking action. The truth will emerge in time. You just need to go deeper. Follow your intuition, okay? Let's see why this is here in the past. Like, why did you need to have patience in the past, Virgo? It's like you needed answers for something, some clarity. Why is patience here for Virgo in the past? Recent past. Why is patience here for Virgo? Okay, seven of cups, okay? This is about worry, okay? Different options. Yeah, it's almost like with the nine of pentacles here, this is, you know, it could have been worried about your abundance. I feel like it's you worried about, like, you having enough. Because with the magician energy um, clarifying here, it almost feels like you're doubting your abilities. You're doubting your qualifications you know what i'm saying for something okay like eight of swords okay self-imposed restrictions like even maybe even putting restrictions on yourself worry about something not coming through why you're not having a new beginning you're not getting something that you truly truly see a wish fulfillment in. like you you see as your everything like it would be uh an emotional fulfillment with the ten of cups okay you want a new beginning you want to go after something that you truly desire Okay, it's a new opportunity, but you don't feel, you know, you worry as if, like, maybe you don't match up for some reason, okay? But with your current energy here being renewal, right, I feel like that's changing. Why is number 20 here, renewal? It says, be willing to release any preconceived notions of how life should unfold. Okay, this is a time to be adaptable, be willing to change, abundance and good fortune will follow. Okay, it's like, you know, maybe creating, having worry about your abundance, creating obstacles in your mind with the eight of swords, right? Because things may not be going the way you want them to. Why is renewal here? Yep, look, the devil was trying to push out. Yep, yep, moving past, moving forward. Yep. Okay. Maybe communicating with the past. Mm -hmm. Cutting things out with the Prince of Swords. It's some type of um, toxic habit, toxic thoughts, toxic energy. Okay. That needs to be removed. Okay. Why is renewal here for Virgo? Why is renewal here for Virgo? First half of June. And you apply how it fits. Why is renewal here? Hermit. Okay. It's your energy with the sun. All right. It's like once you cut out the toxic thoughts, the toxic habits, the toxic people. Okay. The downers. Okay. Then you'll be able to. Take action towards what truly makes you happy with the sun. Okay? You'll be able to clearly make that decision. Okay? By cutting out what's not, what's not doing you any good and taking some time for yourself. Okay? To gain that clarity with the Ace of Swords. Okay? About what makes you happy. What, what satisfies you. Nothing but clarity here. Okay? Being able to communicate. To take action towards what makes you happy. Yeah. Taking time to yourself, renewal, taking the time to think. It's like once you cut out unhealthy attachments, right? You'll have the clarity that you need to move forward. All right. If you're worried about doing this, feeling like you don't have the tools to do so, you do. You're protected. Go ahead. Okay. Why is refuge here in the immediate future? It's number 16. 
right? And it says, retreat and replenish your inner resources. Now is not the time to act, but to incubate your ideas for the future. Be still. The answers are within you. Magic is all around you, okay? Why is refuge here in the immediate future for Virgo, okay? Hermit, okay? Going in, going within so you can gain that clarity. Cutting out the toxic thoughts, the toxic habits, the toxic people, and going within so that you can figure out how to move forward, okay? The Six of Wands, okay? Six of Wands with the Six of Cups on the bottom, okay? And the Knight of Swords, okay? Making decisions, making successful decisions. Sword of Judgment, but it was too many cards. Okay, making successful decisions about your future. Once you take refuge, okay? Six of Swords, being able to move on to calmer waters, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles, being able to um, go after... What it is that you desire in a grounded and stable way with a clear mind, okay? And growth and expansion here. Empress, right? Having the strength, okay, to make a decision about what's most desired by you, what fulfills you, okay? Nurturing yourself, caring about you. Once you take refuge, you have to do that. Time for yourself. That's when you'll gain the clarity that you need, okay? Because whatever you're trying to work on, it might not be going as quickly as you want it to. But it's it will. It's going to come together. You're protected in the you know in the, on the path that you're on, okay? So let's get you some messages or guidance here from my deck. Straight facts, Mr. Garrett Tarot work with that all right for virgo first half of june what messages or guidance do you have for virgo that night of pinnacle has been coming out whole night virgo first half of june for virgo Okay, so it says you check all the boxes. You're everything I've ever wanted, okay? And I feel like you don't see that in yourself, all right? He says, um, the perfect collabo. I'm trying to build an empire. Let's start a business, all right? It's something that you're trying to start, okay? My mind's playing tricks on me, but you're mentally conflicted about it. It's something you want to do, okay? But you're mentally conflicted about, like, maybe your qualifications, your abilities to make, make something successful, Okay, for something to be good or right or go in your favor to grow and expand. Yeah. It says, I feel stuck. My hands are tied in this situation. All right, you might be feeling stuck. Okay? It says, um, and that's because you've been done dirty in the past. Okay? I feel truly betrayed. I'm done. All right? So, like, once you cut out unhealthy habits, thoughts, past you'll be able to move forward to what it is that you truly desire you are protected in what you're working on what you're manifesting okay like take some time to yourself renewal refuge okay because i feel like you're over stimulated if that makes sense well i hope this helps virgo i look forward to seeing you guys soon please like Comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye. Oh, I turned it off. <laughs>